before we start uh, practicing drawing molecules, we've got to get used to some terminology. So we're going to be talking about valence electrons. Those are the outermost electrons. And we, I just drew an orbital diagram for hydrogen. Well, hydrogen only has one electron. Okay, that is the outermost shell. Carbons, outermost electrons, we see one, two, three, four. And we are going to use the periodic table to come up with this number. So the valence electrons are determined by the atom's group number, and this is on the periodic table. So we do not need to draw an orbital diagram to see that. So if we look at hydrogen, hydrogen is in group number one, and then carbon, we don't care about these numbers across the top, carbon is in group four, nitrogen is group five, oxygen six, and the fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine are in group seven. So we are going to use the periodic table Boron isn't really in very many compounds anyway. So the nonmetals that are going to be involved in covalent compounds, not very many of them, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, bromine, iodine, and remember hydrogen is a nonmetal. So we'll be counting every atom's valence electrons by just looking to see what group it's in. Okay? And another thing that we're going to be talking about uh, is bonds. So a bond is technically sharing electrons. And that, again, is sharing valence electrons. So we are going to draw electrons as dots. And we're going to see that the sharing electrons, we're always going to have an even number of electrons, and they're always going to be paired up. I think before I talk about that, I'm going to write hydrogen all by itself. And hydrogen looks like that, has one valence electron. Carbon, we can put four valence electrons around it. Nitrogen is in group five, so we could draw hydrogens or nitrogen's electrons like that. Right now, this atom, uh, we do see an odd number of electrons. But any time we have a compound where we have two different atoms, we are always going to end up with an even number of electrons. So oxygen is in group six. So we could draw oxygen's valence electrons like this. And fluorine is in group seven. And this will help us if there's more than one possible structure to draw. We're going to see that hydrogen only ever has one atom connected to it. Carbon generally has four lines to it. Nitrogen generally has three. Oxygen has two. And fluorine has one. Okay. Now, so another thing we're going to about. So this is just an individual atom with the valence electrons represented. So I'm going to give us an example of a couple of molecules or covalent compounds. And if we draw methane gas, CH4, we have a carbon and then is here, and then a hydrogen attached around it. So if we look back at carbon, carbon had four valence electrons around it, so here's carbon's four valence electrons, and each hydrogen has one valence electron. So there's the hydrogens. And this molecule is happy because uh, hydrogen likes to have two electrons around it to look like helium, and every other atom wants eight electrons around it to look like the noble gas. Okay. 
Generally, we're going to write shared electrons as a line connecting the two atoms. So one line equals two shared electrons. Shared meaning one electron comes from one atom and the other electron comes from another. So one line, two shared electrons, we're going to call that a single bond. And carbon dioxide has a double bond to it. So if I draw another example, carbon dioxide, when we learn how to do this, we'll see how we came up with the structure. So carbon dioxide looks like this. Two lines connecting atoms is referred to as a double bond. So that's, four, that's a total of four electrons. So we could show the electrons here and here. So one line connects two electrons, so we have two lines here for a total of four electrons. And then carbon monoxide ends up having a triple bond. So three lines connecting atoms is referred to as a triple bond. And we haven't discussed why the compounds are arranged like this, but we're going to go back to that magic number eight. And so if we look at carbon, carbon all by itself only has four valence electrons, but if it shares electrons with oxygen, then it gets two, four, six, eight electrons around it. So carbon's happy and oxygen also gets two, four, six, eight electrons around it. So this intersection is really where the atoms are sharing electrons. We can go up to this picture and look at oxygen. Oxygen has two, four, six, eight electrons around it. This oxygen's in the same environment. It also has eight electrons around it and carbon has eight electrons around it. So we count the shared electrons twice, and that constitutes a bond.